Okay, folks, thanks very much for joining us. Um, today I'm going to be tying a, a blue hackle shrimp on a size 12 silver up by, um, up by Nordic Cook. It's an Irish shrimp fly, so I'm going to be starting about the midway point. Hard to normally just behind the head. And the first, first thing I need to do is create the tag. As I said before in other videos, I always have quite a big tag. So where I might be using fine wire for a rib, I would still be using like a medium oval. It helps splay the tail as well. So this is quite a long shank too compared to the extra pitots. Um, so I'm just going to work my way down a bit and then um, three or four turns for the, the tag. Uh, tuck that in underneath, keep it neat. And we can start to secure the tag up. Then we'll cut the excess off. And then on the way down, we're turning golden pheasant and also a wee bit of flesh for this one as well. So I'll tie the flesh on first so it's in the core of the tail and not on top of the tail. Okay, so just two strands and then I'm folding them over again. So I'm going to be four strands. And then I'm going to be using golden pheasant. So I'm just going to remove the, the fluff. And for size, I want this probably about twice the length of the shank. Which normally is, in terms of the fibres, the fibres are normally a little bit longer than the hook size. So that works out well there. And I tie my golden pheasant on at the tip, where I do my hackles as well. So I leave about three or four at the top. Get a wee bit of wax here. And then I tie in the tip. Can fold these back on by. It's going to be quite lightly dressed, so I'm going to cut this off and then start to train the feathers to point downwards if you can. These aren't the damn ball, these ones. So I'm just going to use your wet finger. They're very soft, these, so wet finger will do just the job. And for a fly this size, I'm probably wanting two, maybe maybe three turns. We'll have a wee look and see how we're getting on. Okay, so that's one wrap. It's going to be messy, but it'll be it'll go okay in a minute. Okay, that's two wraps. And we'll do two and a half wraps. So I'll pull off the fibres from one side. On my third turn, so it's still equally spread throughout the hook, but you're not getting it too overdressed. And then we'll secure it down. Okay, we'll run up to about the midway point to secure it. Put off the excess and then for the tail and I will just take it out of the face and blow up the rear of the tail which will hopefully spread it out nice and even and then just with a wet finger just make sure it's very evenly spread around around the hook 360 degrees you kind of want okay and the last thing I do is I tie right up on top of that and that'll make it splay against that oval oval rib. It's also quite a weak feather stock, so it means that you're securing it with thread as opposed to relying on the stock itself. So you'll see as I go up here, it's starting to splay a wee bit more now as I get to the tag. Okay. Then the rib for this, I'm going to use silver wire, 
be a bit more secure than um, than using tinsel. So just a few turns, and then the rear of the body is going to be black floss. So let's see. I'm just putting that in, using the way of the bobbin to secure it. That's supposed to be done in a pinching loop. Okay, just trying to level out the body a little bit here. And then you're wanting about the halfway point. So you want two, two thirds front, three thirds um, the rear. But if you do about the halfway point, including the head, you usually get that proportion. Okay, and this is a single strand thread floss, so a few wraps you can double it. I didn't even think of doubling it. Now we're secure it there. Just touch and turn as you go along. A couple of turns to secure it. And then again, the silver. So we want three or four turns going up there. That's going to be a wee bit too many. Let's see. Okay. okay. As before of the wire, you can just, you don't need to cut it off and rain your scissors, you just twist it off. And then you remove the floss. At this point, a wee bit more wax for your hackle here, and the mid hackle is going to be blue. Um, so, the, of personal preference, but I like the fibers to extend the rear of the hook. So, I picked this especially for that, and then the front hackle will be a wee bit smaller. So, I expose about four four fibers from the front after breaking off the tip. Do a couple of turns to hold it, and then fold them back on themselves. Okay, so we've got about four or five turns on double stock there as well. And you can start to train the fibers to point inwards. And depending, a couple of wraps will probably do this one. That's one wrap, yeah, two wraps will be plenty. So as I know the next wrap is my final wrap, I'm going to pinch it and remove a wee bit of the fibre so it's a, it's a clean, um, cleanly tied down. Right, so I messed up a few there, hold on. Okay. One. I have went forward in the hook there to secure that, so I'm making the best use of my thread going down again. So as I'm going down, I'm going to secure the rib, which is the same as I was saying before, which is your silver wire. Okay, and then the front, um, the front body is going to be black floss. Okay, and again use the bobbin to secure it. Oh, hold on, it's fraying a bit there in places. If you find that it's fraying, just run your fingers along and any wee bits just come along, it should all be one unit or one piece again. It's nothing worse than starting to tie and it's starting to fray on the hook. Okay. Be nice and secure there. As before, just winds up 
I touch and turn. Sometimes you'll see I wet. Sometimes wet my hands in the room. Turn the floss just gives you a better grip, and it also means you can twist the floss a little bit if it does start to unwind. I think that's grand there. Make sure there's no gaps. Okay. Three or four turns to secure it. You cut that off if you want at this stage or after the rib. And then the rib again you're wanting two or three turns. Again, hold it, hold the bobbin tight, and twist. Tightness, face a bit. Okay. Then the final hackle is going to be. I can find it. The final hackle should be white, white badger cock. I'll get another one here. Okay, so I have my. Badger cock hackle here. I'm gonna pinch off the end. Expose about maybe four or five fibers. Tie that. Tie on top of that. Then pull the fibers back. And tie on top of the stock and the fibers. Okay. And then start to clean the fibers downwards. So you think. They're pointing down then up up wraps that you'll be using. And I'll probably do two two wraps for this one again. So I'll just take a few fibers off to neaten it. Okay. And because I'm at the head and I have a wee bit of space to play with. I can double this hackle back up, make it more secure, and then just pluck it off. That's your fly finished. You can add some jungle cock if you want. So I'm going to put in wee eyes here. This is always the fiddly part of the fly. Just until you're happy. Okay, have enough of that there. So I'll just put a wee bit of super glue on here, just hoping it doesn't catch any apple of a couple of wraps of super glue, they really secure it. Jungle cock and fly, they come out if you don't secure it like this. Then what I'm going to do on top of that is I'm going to bend these back over. Just get flat super glue to dry every second. This is me forming the head now, but at the same time, securing that, those tag ends, or those waist ends of the jungle cock. Okay, then I've no good finish to, oh no, I do, there we go. Okay. Finish it off with four or five of finishes. And just 
cut off these waist ends. If I can get a grip, I could probably pull them off. Like so. Because they are tightened underneath the super glue. And that's it, folks. That's the blue hackle shrimp. It's a fly I've never tried before, but I like the look of it. Somebody put it up on Facebook there, and I thought I would give it a go. So, hopefully, you enjoyed that video. Hopefully, you found it useful. As always, um, give us a wee like or any questions, give us a shout. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And yeah, welcome. Um, so, until next time, folks, thanks very much and tight lines. All the best.